Yo, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from WearTesters.com. Got some new stuff in that I want to talk about, so let's go ahead and get right into it. You guys might not be able to hear this right now, but there's a big f***ing plane outside. Because I'm recording. Uh, what are these called? The Adidas Tubular X Prime Knit. Now, I did a quick video on these things with some music and cutscenes and, you know, up-close look and... Basically, just kind of giving you a look at the sneaker itself, along with an on-foot look. Uh, but I didn't talk about the shoe at all, mostly because I wanted to wear it first and kind of see how I felt, because trying them on and then wearing them for a day could have been a totally different experience. So I've worn them around quite a bit, and these are a little bit different, in my opinion, than the regular Tubular X, which have like a synthetic kind of like toe rand here. I don't like the way that those look really. I mean, I like the way that the shoe looks. I don't like the way that that synthetic top layer looks. So when they showed the prime knit version, which is all like a sock and everything, I was like, yo, those are legit. I want to try those out for sure. It's this back half, this turquoisey looking color. This is solid rubber, but within it is EVA. So this whole front part is just foam and it's okay. As far as comfort goes, it's cored out right here. So when you step and put a lot of force, it, it, it buckles just a little bit. So it kind of has a little bit of give to it. Um, but they're no more comfortable than a Roshi, in my opinion, which is basically no comfort at all. There's no real cushion in there, no real tech. The tech that you are getting, though, is from the upper. It's a one-piece prime knit. I really like the way that it looks, and I like the way that prime knit feels. But my main issue with these is right here at the toe. It's not something you can see. It's actually underneath. They have one of these little bumper things that's, like, on the, the Pure Boost, but it's inside the shoe. So my toe is, like, right underneath it, and I just hate it. Like, I don't like the way that that feels whatsoever. I did go down half a size because I keep hearing that they run really big. The half a size down personally worked well for me, but I do feel like with that little weird thing in the toe that maybe my regular size is just a size 9 would have been maybe a nicer feeling fit uh, rather than having this thing kind of pressing on the top of my foot all the time. And I'm somebody that really likes a snug fit, but that was just kind of, it bothers me when I wear it for some reason. But that's my thoughts on the tubular prime knit, tubular X prime knit. I think it's a nice shoe. Um, this colorway definitely is a little bit loud, so maybe not for everybody and not for an everyday type of shoe, but they have other ones that are more neutral, like blacks, navies, and so on. And um, I think that they're a nice shoe. I don't know if they're worth necessarily the price, just based off of tech alone, but it's a fashion shoe. It's not a performance shoe, so... I mean, there's other shoes that are they're high fashion that are way more expensive than what these guys retail for, and for whatever reason, people don't mind paying those prices. So, you know, cop what you like at the price that you're willing to pay. Don't ever be like, oh, it's not worth it, because it's only worth what you're willing to pay for it. Next thing is, I got a package here. This is from Shoe Palace, and I wasn't expecting these things to come in as quickly as they did. I like bought them one day, and they were here like the next day, which I thought was really weird. So, um, but I'm excited because it's got to do with my my team, Dub Nation. Woo. These are sick. Bam! Two hats, new like finals colors or whatever. I ended up finding the black ones. Found them twice actually. Once on Shoe Palace and one was a pre-order that I bought that didn't ship till like three months later. And then I saw them on Shoe Palace just kind of available so I bought one that I can actually like have now because I'm sometimes impatient. And I also have two of the white ones. I did have three but I gave one of them away over at one of our hoop sessions. And then I got these two. There was also uh, another colorway that looked just like this with the white brim and the, the accented F and it was just the, the gold. I wasn't really feeling that. I'm not a huge fan of the yellow. And then they just had the same exact hats, but they were all tonal. Same colors. There was a gold one, a blue one, and a gray one. If you're interested in any of the hats, I will leave them in the description box below. A link that is, of course. And as far as which one of these two I like better, I don't know. These are both, these are both really sick. It looks super legit. Actually, I might like the gray one a little bit more. It kind of looks cool. What can I say? All right, so this next one is from a place called Insight Insoles. And it's a performance insole that are pretty expensive, but they hit me up and they wanted me to do a product review. This is not the review. This is just an unboxing. And right off the bat, this is really cool. They come in a case. This is dope. Never, ever, ever had an insole that does that. But basically, these guys have cushion plus uh, carbon fiber within the insole. I haven't seen that since the Jordan 18's insole. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, there's a performance review. You can check it out. Like I said, these are not cheap, but um, right off the bat, it looks like you get what you're paying for as far as like money's worth and whoa these are crazy nice uh, microfiber footbed right there really soft antimicrobial you got cushion and it also comes out of the uh, carbon fiber this whole back 
piece from the midfoot to the heel is carbon fiber and gives you that support uh, that other insoles don't need but it's extreme support so this is not going to fail you anytime soon the cushion feels really comfortable too and then you got a, a slightly firmer forefoot cushion for some response plus it's got grip so it doesn't slide around inside your shoe and last but not least we got some wades here from sunlight station this is the wow 3 light and this was actually the the chameleon or lizard or one of a thousand uh, basically there was a contest held by Li Ning and and Dwayne wade and this was the uh, the winner that you know, there's a whole bunch of entries of people that designed the sneaker, and this this was the winner here. It's a crazy shoe. Bottom graphic is cool. It's got a little lizard there with its tongue going around the Wade logo. And uh, this is an awesome sneaker for outdoor use. Well, indoors also, but I've been using mine outdoors. And these are way better on court than the regular WoW 3, which I think is really weird, but... You know, I'm not going to complain. It's a lower price sneaker than the WoW 3, and it works better. Just make sure that you go up half a size. If you're interested in this particular colorway, I will put a link down in the description box below. And if you also wanted an in-depth video on these guys here, just let me know in the comment section, and I could take care of that for you. So that pretty much takes care of it. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all your support. If you're interested in anything that you see here, you can just check the description box. There will be links um, and all that stuff if you're, you know, if you're trying to get a finals hat or whatever it might be. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all your support. And until next time, guys, have a good one.